Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video, I have I have a couple of neat things to show you regarding the iPad Simulator. Now, before I continue, um, I just want to say that if you're on Twitter, I highly suggest following Sonny788 on Twitter because he's the person who figured some of these things out. So go ahead and follow follow him if you want. So the first thing I'm going to show is settings. Now, as you can see here, compared to the normal iPad simulator, it only has general, a really slimmed down general, and Safari, and I believe Photos too. Um, here we have almost everything that uh, that I believe is going to be on the actual iPad, um, such as Wi-Fi, uh, push notifications, your own picture frame option, which I'll show you later on. Uh, some video settings, things like that. There's nothing in mail or store. Uh, so first we'll start with Wi-Fi. If I turn this on, everything's gonna sort of freeze up, so I'm not going to. So it's a little bit, the, the Wi-Fi menu is a little bit different than what you'd find on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Um, where on those devices, it doesn't have this no networks menu. So that's different. Uh, notifications, you know, brightness and wallpaper, you know, uh, pretty much the same. And then picture frame, you have two transition options, some other things. Uh, you could choose all photos or just specific albums. For the simulator, you have to, you can only use photos that you've saved from Safari. So I have three images from interfacelift.com that I'll show you when I show you what the picture frame does. I don't know if you can actually use the picture frame um, in the normal simulator without having the picture frame option, but I'll show you that anyway. Then here we have a menu for sounds. Um, it doesn't do anything, but oh well. Then we have network, nothing in there. I guess that's for, you know, your if you have a 3G plan. Uh, Bluetooth, I'm afraid to turn that on. Everything's probably going to screw up again. Uh, location services, and then file sharing. I don't think this has been really shown anywhere else, but I guess you could transfer your apps from your computer and back wirelessly. So I guess that's what that is. And then here we have the auto lock. Um... Well, not the auto lock, the passcode lock. You know, where if you, when you unlock your device, here, let me just show you real quick. So when you unlock it, it brings up this passcode box so you can enter in your four digit passcode. Lines one, two, three, four. And there you go. Uh, changing your passcode, the whole interface looks like this. Oops something like that uh, then after 10 failed attempts it's going to erase everything on the iPad I'm actually going to try that at the end of this video just to see what happens so on purpose I'm gonna enter in my passcode wrong 10 times and we'll see what happens from there nothing in mail Safari has the same old stuff I believe from before I think this is different I don't remember seeing this but oh well. You have your usual iPod options, some TV out options, your photo options, and then store. Um, so that's pretty much settings. Uh, I'm going to write up a post on gumballtech.com on how to get all those extra options. So you could turn things on like the picture frame and the passcode lock. And I'm going to be doing another video after this showing some other cool things regarding the iPad simulator and probably the iPad itself that I don't think is shown anywhere else on the web so that's gonna be pretty interesting um, photos we'll look at that real quick here you can see the camera tab what I'm showing you now isn't anything that you have to sort of hack I guess it, these uh, the camera tab is native to the simulator um, and I guess what that's for is for the USB camera attachment that lets you plug in your digital camera into your iPad via the 30-pin dock connector and then you could do, th do some things there. 
So we'll go to albums really quick and you can see that I have some saved photos that I saved from Safari. It's a little bit aligned wrong. We'll start a slideshow really quick. There's no music to choose from. And photos is froze. Oh, there it goes. So I guess that's photos. Uh, all these other apps here are fake. I got these from SimFinger, which you can see in one of our other videos. It lets you set the badge for the app icon, as you can see here. Um, nothing to really show in Safari that you probably haven't already seen. Oh, uh, let me take you back to settings. There's still a bunch I haven't even gone through. So I'm going to double click on the home button to see if it goes to search. And it went straight to spotlight. So that's an interesting option, you know. Double tapping the home button will probably not do anything. Yeah, we'll leave it home for now. Date and time, you can change all that stuff. I'm not sure what the accessibility um, simulator is, but it just made everything screw up. So let me go back to settings. I have to lock it. Let me just show you what the passcode screen looks like when you get the code wrong. So that's what that looks like for anybody who's wondering. <clears throat> go back to settings. Uh, I'm going to leave that off. And here you can see the battery percentage. Um, you can see in the upper uh, upper right, you can see it's not there now, but when I turn it on, it's there. So that's something that you couldn't have gotten in the simulator before. So that's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and lock the simulator and show you the picture frame. Here's what it looks like. Um, it just changes every couple of seconds. And then when you tap on a photo while the picture frame is enabled, I guess this is what the screen looks like. So let's turn that off, unlock it so we get rid of that box. And then on you know the iPod Touch and the iPhone, when you double tap on your home button, it brings up the iPod controls. Um, so here's what those look like for now, I suppose. Um, I don't remember seeing this before. I just guess that nobody has tried it before, so here's what those look like. Um, they don't seem like that's what they're actually going to look like. So That's about it. I plan on doing another video showing some other interesting little hacks, I guess. Uh, for the iPad simulator and possibly the um, iPad itself when it's released. So leave any comments, questions, suggestions in the comments area below. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.